All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jay Money at HowToPulse.com. Uh, we're going to show you today in this video um, how to start up a brand new Trezor Model T with 12 word seed phrase derived from the device itself. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to go and download the Trezor Suite, um, which will be at Trezor dot io forward slash start which is what it says right on the device itself go to trezor dot io forward slash start okay and you're going to get the desktop app once you have that downloaded you're going to go to the treasure bridge that is suite dot trezor dot io forward slash web forward slash bridge and you're going to download the latest bridge currently is version 2.0.27 okay once you have those two things downloaded then you're going to go to the Trezor suite and you're going to select set up Trezor okay firmware is up to date so we're going to go ahead and hit continue in this case, we're going to create a new wallet. You do have an option to recover wallet. That's if you have another seed phrase that you have your assets in already that you want to use on this Trezor device, you would select that. But in this case today, we're going to start a new wallet with new seeds. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do a standard seed backup. Okay. And it's going to ask you, do you want to create a new wallet? So this is touchscreen. So go ahead and select that. Okay, right here on the computer it says create backup. And check your backup in the device settings before sending money. Never take a photo and keep your backup secured at all times. We're gonna go ahead and begin the backup. Okay, never make digital copies, I understand. Go ahead and write these words down. These are the 12 words that are coming from the device. And this is your one chance to go ahead and write these down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get these written down real quick. Make sure you're spelling them exactly how they are shown. Um, it says I wrote them all down. Hold to confirm. Okay. What is word two? So I have to pick word two, which was wide. All right. And pick word seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which was evidence. Okay. And number 12 was guard. And we have finished verifying your recovery. Your backup is done. Hit continue. Go ahead and set a pin. Okay, set your pin. Yes, I want to enable pin protection. And we're going to keep it simple for this test feature. And do it a second time. The numbers do change on the screen. They're never the same. Okay, and we've made a pin number. Hit continue. Activate which coins that you want to have assets in. Uh, today we're just going to talk about Ethereum because we're doing Pulse Chain. Okay. Complete setup. You want to name it. Okay, you can name it. And then we're going to go ahead and access the suite. 
Oh, or do we really want to change the test? Four, yes. Now we can access the suite. All right, now, this is going to get a bit advanced for a moment. And I want to talk about the passphrase. Okay, when you... This treasure gave us a 12-word seed phrase. And in that 12-word seed phrase, it generated some public addresses that are unique to those 12 words. Passphrase is what, would, what we would call the 13th word. So anytime you change one of the words on your 12-word seed phrase, it's going to generate a completely new wallet. No matter what word you put in there, if it's wrong, it's going to create a different wallet than the 12 words that you wrote down. That's why it's so important to write them all down, to write them down properly, nothing's misspelled, and so forth. So ultimately, you can generate a 12-word seed phrase, which is your base seed phrase here. And you can, can if you just continued and hit standard wallet, the public uh, addresses that are generated for that wallet are derived from that single 12 word seed phrase. If we choose hidden wallet, okay, we're gonna add any word we want and it's gonna be the 13th word. The cool thing about this is once I'm done here and I create a single word uh, that acts as a 13th word, I can always go back and when I plug this back in, I can make a different 13th word and it would generate a new wallet. And you can use a different 13th word again and generate a new wallet again. So you could basically start new wallets with unique seed phrases using this passphrase uh, hidden wallet feature. So I want to create a hidden wallet. Okay. And, and okay. The word is pulse chain. That's the passphrase I added. Hit OK. Okay, we are now, since there's a zero balance here, I believe it's going to ask us to enter that, that word again. Um, yeah, so since it's empty, it wants to make sure that you wrote it down right or you're putting in the right information. Um, and as you can see, it says pulse chain again, all lowercase. Access hidden wallet, the word is pulse chain. Okay, and this would be the receiving address for this 12 word that I just generated with the 13th word. Okay, I'm going to write down pulse chain as the 13th word, and the last digits are 2C2B. Okay, we're going to confirm on the treasurer. All right, so now I have successfully started a new wallet with a passphrase, and this wallet's called test4, and we use the word pulse chain as the 13th word. All right, what we can do here to prove that it works, um, let's see, we're going to go right to a... MetaMask instance and let's get rid of these real quick because MetaMask does not like it when uh, you use more than one account at the same time so we're going to get rid of those real quick all right and let's get on the Ethereum mainnet all right so we're gonna connect the hardware wallet Go to Trezor, connect, allow, export. We did a passphrase, so we have to write pulse chain here. And again, confirm on the device use pulse chain yes and here is the 2c 2b address that we generated on the treasure all right now 
if I lock this account, I disconnect the treasure, plug it back in. Let's log back in here. Let's go ahead and try to connect hardware wallet again, go to treasure. Okay. Connect the treasure to continue. We're going to put the pin number in real quick. All right. And continue, allow, export. Now it's asking for a passphrase again. If I don't enter any passphrase, I'm going to show you how it's a different set of seed uh, public address. You see the 2D or excuse me, 2C, 2B address is nowhere in here. This is where that passphrase comes in. This would be the standard public address that was generated for the 12 words. And the first one we did here is the public address that was generated by the word pulse chain as a 13th word passphrase. All right. So that's basically how you start a Trezor Model T. It's how you use the passphrase function, and that's how you connect to the Dummy MetaMask front end that you've got. And then we'll go ahead and remove these accounts. And voila, there you go. I uh, hope this helps, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you.